everyone. Um, my name is Sierra, and I'm here at the Evans Studio. I'm going to take you guys through a one-hour yoga flow today. So if you guys want to get linked up on my playlist, I will um, have that included in the notes. I'll make sure there's a link to that. I'll keep you guys up. Um, but this is going to be just a nice yoga flow. It's not going to be anything crazy, crazy difficult. Um, but it's also not going to be a beginner flow. So I'm going to give you guys plenty of options to add on. Just so fun to be back in the studio. So we're going to start on your back today. I want you to come down into Shavasana. All the way down on your mat, legs are sitting long in front of you. Lay down flat. Closing your eyes. Starting to draw your attention to your breath. Breathing nice and deep. In through the nose. And out through the nose. I want you to just take this time to let go of any, anything going on outside of this room, any concerns, any anxiety that you may be having. I want you to just focus on trying to be present for the next hour. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Maybe tapping into that Ujjayi breath, an audible breath in the back of your throat, the first in the air. Breathe in some of the ocean. I want you to bring it back to the breath. Deep inhale. And deep exhales. And as you lay here on your mat, I want you to set an intention for your practice today. So that intention can be anything that you'd like it to be. Maybe it's taking an hour out of your day for you. Maybe it's taking an hour out of your day to focus on your health and your wellness, whether that's mental, physical, spiritual, maybe all of the above. Maybe you're taking this time just to break up the craziness. You're working from home, maybe you have little ones at home. We're going to find a sense of normalcy in this wild time that we're living in. But whatever it is, I want you to find a purpose for your practice today. If you give an intention, this is not permanent. So you may pick a purpose now and have to through class and ditch it. That's completely fine. It's the beauty of yoga. Inhale, the arms long, the forehead, and a nice full long stretch. And then bring your knees in toward your chest. We're going to start that playlist in three, two, one, play. Right knee stays locked in, spinning your left leg out long in front of you. Start rotating that ankle, taking it over to the right, and then to the left. Inhale, and on your exhale, press your heel up. So maybe you want to grab for your thigh, your calf, your foot. This might be plenty. A lot of times this is plenty for me, okay? Just want you to focus on breathing into the hamstring. Deep breath in. 
And on the exhale, we're going to take the right leg out to the right. So notice I'm making a little shelf with my hand. I'm going to start to externally rotate. This hand is going to catch my foot. So my left hip stays glued down into the mat. I'm not letting it come up, but I have support for this right leg. Breathing into the right inner thigh. Keep pressing the right hip forward toward your heel. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, bend your knee, half happy baby, right elbow presses into your shin. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, bend the knee, let's take it all the way across your body with our twist. So let your right shoulder come up, right knee comes all the way to the floor, then reach the right arm out to the side to get a twist. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, bring it back to center. Take your right ankle over your left thigh. We're going to come into a reclined figure four, rolling up the hips. So I know this is usually something we see at the end of class. But we're going to change it up a little bit today. There's no bad time for a figure four. All right? Deep breath in. And on the exhale, gently release, switching sides, right leg extends out long. Left knee comes in toward your chest. Rotating the ankle, let's take it over to the left first. And then switching, taking it to the right. Inhale. And on the exhale, pressing the foot up. Breathing into the hamstring. Again, maybe grounding to the leg, maybe not. Totally optional. Just focus on getting that stretch through the hamstring. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, I create my little shelf. Left elbow presses down to the mat as I let that left leg fall over to the side. Notice my right hip stays pinned down. I'm not letting it come up off the mat. Keep pressing your left hip forward, down for your foot as you breathe into the inner thigh. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, bend the knee, half happy baby. Left elbow presses into the shin. Breathe into the inner thigh. Deep inhale here. And on the exhale, bend the knee, take it all the way across the body. Come into a twist. So I'm letting this left shoulder come up, taking my left knee all the way to the mat, then starting to roll back, reaching the left arm out to the side. Deep breath in here. And then on the exhale, bring it back to center. Left ankle comes over your right thigh. Set up your figure four. Breathing into that left hip and your left glutes. Deep breath in. And then on the exhale, gently release. Take your feet out wide and let your knees fall in together. Just breathing for a minute here. Try to release through the F2 bands, outer hip. And then just windshield wiper your knees side to side. Knees come in toward your chest. We're going to rock and roll up. Pausing here. So we're going to do our core work at the beginning of class today. Sometimes I like to save it for the end, sometimes we don't do it, but today we're going to make sure we do it. So we're going to do boat to canoe. I'm going to show you all three options. So option one, feet are up here, hands are back. Inhale here, and on the exhale you press, 
extending the legs. Notice my hands are right here to press me back up on my inhale. Exhale, you press out. Okay, so option one. Option number two, grabbing behind the thighs. Inhale here. Exhale, you press. Inhale to lift, no arm support. Exhale, you press away. Option number three, setting up the boat pose. Legs extend straight. Inhale here. Exhale, you press. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, you press. Inhale to lift. Find what's right for you. I'm going back to option one today, but as I said, find what's right for you. Inhale here. Exhale, press. Inhale to lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Press. Lift. And press. Two more. One more. Press it out. Just scissor those legs. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Gently release. Come to a forward fold in front of your mat. So forward fold, feet are going to be hip distance apart. All right, so that's going to be about two fist widths, maybe the width of a block. But notice all ten of my toes are pointed forward. So I'm not turned out at all, not pigeon-toed. I'm going to rock the weight forward into the balls of my feet. Okay, so my hips are going to stack over my knees, over my ankles. This is not forward fold of my hips way back here. I want to be forward. Hips over knees, over ankles. If you have to have a little bend in your knees, that's totally fine. But I want the weight to be forward on the balls of your feet. Relaxing through the head. Maybe stay here. Maybe grabbing the opposite elbows. Taking a little ragdoll stretch. Just enjoying this nice, easy inversion. Letting the blood flow in the opposite direction. Breathing into its knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat back. Grab it up, reaches forward. So if you need to bend your knees, like I said, that's totally fine. I never want you to completely lock out your legs. You should always have a little bit of micro bend in your knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. This time we're coming all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, you to your heart. Close your eyes. And I want you to go back to that intention that we set. Okay? So remember how I said if this does not ring true throughout the box, you can ditch it. Totally fine. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, front of the head reaches forward. Exhale, release, plant your hands, step your feet back, high plank. Pause here. So I'm going to take you through a few vinyasa options, all right? Option number one, if I have any pregnant mamas or any postnatal mamas, this is going to be for you. Um, again, if you're just not in the plate, this is a great option. I would love to add this into my class at any time, but definitely pre-postnatal. So this is going to be for you. Inhale, drop the knees, drop the belly, lengthen the spine, lift, look up. Exhale, press the ground away. Inhale, sit back, child's pose. Open the mouth, side all up. Shift forward on the inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, lift your hips down, facing up. Bend the left knee, press into the right heel. Stretching that right leg. So it's a cat cow, child's pose, correct. For that prenatal vinyasa, switching sides and the right knee presses to the left heel. But again, it's remember this is not just for prenatals. All right, 
you've been to my class and politely done this because it's one of my favorite learning process. Looking forward in between your hands, hop or steps in the front of your back, forward fold. Inhale, flat out. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, reach all the way up to stand. Exhaling into your heart. We're going to go through option two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Crown the head, reaches forward. Exhale, release, plant the hands. Hop or step back high plank. Shift forward on your tiptoes. Chaturanga halfway down. Drop your pelvis, untuck your toes. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, cobra. Deep breath in here. Exhale, release. Thumbs are at the base of my sternum. So, ladies, nice way to remember this. It's right at the base of that sports bra. Okay? Another thing, notice I'm not starting down here with my shoulders down. I'm going to start this position with my shoulders up, elbow tight. Tuck my toes. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, I'm coming back to Chaturanga. I'm going to lift my belly and my thighs. Cross it up, high plank. Lift it at downward facing dog. That's option number two. Okay? If up dog is not your scene, if you have a weak lower back, or if you have lower back problems at all, I highly recommend option number one or two. Okay? Look forward in between your hands, top or steps in front of your mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, front of the upper regions. Exhale, loose. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach option number three. Probably what you're most familiar with. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, flat back, front of the head, reaches forward. Exhale, release, plant your hands, hop or step back, high plank, pause. Shift forward, halfway down, lift your feet, lift your chest, upward facing dog. Notice my thighs are up off the mat. I'm engaged through my back, through my thighs. My legs are completely lit up. I'm going to use my core. Lift, 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 lift. Flipping the feet back over, downward facing dog. Okay? If that's not for you, take option number one or two. I'll show you on this next sequence my variation that I like to do for my personal practice where I'm at right now. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach all the way up. Uh, it's all means to your heart. Inhale, you reach. Left hand grabs your right wrist. Bump your hips to the right. Reach up and over the left. Inhale. Exhale, bring it up. Right hand grabs your left wrist. Bump to the left. Reach up and over the right. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back up to center. Arms come to cactus arms. Bend your knees. This is all in your chest here. Inhale, chest lifts up and back, baby back bend. Arms up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release vinyasa of your choice. If you want a fourth option, this is what I like to do. Chaturanga halfway down, drop my knees, lift into upward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift my hips. Use my core. So dropping your knees is going to take some of that pressure off of your lower back. I tend to get very sore in my lower back and my hips. I think it's just an occupational hazard of my lifestyle and my job. So I enjoy dropping my hips. I mean, dropping my knees. But if you take my class, you'll see a lot of times I alternate between these vinyasas as we go through that class. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, 
coins to your heart. Inhale one more time, interlace the fingers this time. Thumb to the left, reach up and over to the right. Gain inhale to center. Out to the right, reach up and over to the left. Inhale to the center. Bend your knees up and back. Think about that. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, claw back. Exhale, release right foot stays there, left foot steps back. Right knee directly in line over the ankle, drop the left knee, arms reach up, press up back. Press down into the right foot to lift yourself up and out of those hips. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Arms come parallel. Deep breath in. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Shift back, up splits, flex the right toes. Inhale. Exhale, take it back to the front. Lift the left knee. Left heel spins in, arms open up, warrior two. We're going right into it today. Looking over the right middle finger. Deep breath in. Exhale, one more inch. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach and straighten. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale, right palm turns up, reverse. Breathe into the right side body. Deep breath in. Exhale, side angle, right forearm comes to your thigh. Left arm reaches long toward where the ceiling meets the wall. Notice I'm rotating my ribs up toward the ceiling, trying to draw a straight line from my left middle finger down my foot. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, left hand is going to pull me up. Right toes pop up, sit right down and flat my knee. On the left. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, I'm going to straighten my legs, wide angle forward fold. Inhale, flat up. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat up. Walk it over to the left. Left toes turn out. My right toes are still pointed forward. Left hand comes behind the calf. Right arm reaches up and open. Find your tray. So hips press up, right arm reaches, deep inhale. And on my exhale, my right hand comes down, left foot is forward. Inhale, exhale, step it up, high plank. Vinyasa of your choice, knee and downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, make your way in front of your mouth. Inhale, flop up. Exhale, release. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, against your heart. Left side, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flop up. Exhale, release, left foot stays there, right foot steps back, right knee drops, inhale, arms reach up, pressing into that left foot, breathe into the right foot flexor, inhale here, exhale, you twist, reaching arms parallel, fingertip to fingertip energy here, inhale, exhale, right back to center. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come down, not splits, flex it back. Keep 
pulling the spine long toward the front. Should be that same sensation that you had at the beginning of class when you were doing that one leg hamstring stretch on your back. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, take it back to the front. Right knee lifts, right heel spins in, right into it, open, warrior two. So that right outside edge of your foot should be parallel to the back of the mat. Deep inhale. Exhale, one more inch. Start to move. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, left palm turns up, reverse, reach up, back. Breathe into the side body. Inhale. Exhale, left arm comes to your thigh. Right arm reaches long. Try to draw that straight line from your right middle finger down to your foot. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, right hand pulls you up, bend that right knee right down into it, find one knee to the right. Deep breath in. Exhale, start to find your wide angle forward fold. All ten toes to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, flat back. Right heel spins in, walk it over. Right hand comes behind the calf as you open up, finding your triangle. So notice I had to adjust, really push my hips back, opening up to the left side body, trying to rotate my ribs up toward the ceiling. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, right hand comes down, square it off, or back to the right. Right foot steps back, high plank. Vinyasa, your choice. Knee in downward facing dog. Lift those hips. Look forward, right foot steps behind your right hand, left foot steps behind your left hand. We're going to sit down and do a yogi squat. So I'm going to do this facing you guys so you can see. The further apart you take your feet, the easier it'll be to get those hips down. I have to kind of find where it's right for me today. So if this is not easy or accessible to you, awesome option is to grab a block and you can set on that, as you'll see. It's gonna help you guys from falling over backwards, help you keep your balance. So you can set this block just like so, sitting down, taking my hips down to that block, okay? So you can take it high, low, whatever is right for you. But if Malasana is tough for you to get into, this is a great option. All right? Two more breaths here. And then reach that left hand out beyond your left foot. Right arm reaches up and open. Inhale, exhale through center. So I'm going to reach the right foot out beyond the right, or the right hand out beyond the right foot. Notice my tricep stays pushing against my shin. If I do it back here, it's not going to do anything for me. Okay? Left arm reaches up and open. Keep that right knee from falling in towards the midline. Inhale, exhale back to center. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come down, step your feet back, high plank. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips down, we're facing you up. All right, take a breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, side up. Let's do that one more time. 
behind you, deep breath in the nose. Open the mouth, side off. This time, right leg reaches long behind you. Bend your knee, take your hip open. So first I'm taking my knee, then I'm taking my knee out to the side. But I want you guys to keep your shoulders square. So it's going to be really easy to let this right shoulder come up. Keep it squared off. I like to stay looking back at that left toe. It helps keep my right shoulder down. Maybe taking some hip circles here. Inhale. Exhale, square it back off. Right knee comes forward to your right tricep. Take it back. Right knee comes forward to your left tricep. Kick it out to the side. Left arm reaches up and open. Find your wild thing, rock star, falling star, whatever you want to call it. Deep breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down. Right leg reaches up. Step it through, all the way. Left knee stays tight. Inhale, lift it up. High press at lunge, on to the outside. So arms are up by your ears. It's easy to start to be like, oh, my arms are up. No, they're reaching on the angle. Really try to bring your biceps up by your ears, okay? Takes time. You're not there yet. I didn't get like this overnight. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, we twist to the back. I've been doing yoga for over 10 years, and there's still tons of things that I cannot do, or that I maybe could do once and I can't do anymore. That's the beauty of yoga. It evolves with you and with your body. Inhale, square it back off. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Checking in with that left foot. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Two more. Right palm turns up, reverse. Inhale. Exhale, side angle. Right forearm comes to your thigh. Left arm reaches long. Deep inhale. Exhale, left hand pulls you up, flying with you. Same thing here. If you find yourself sitting back and feeling like you're pulling back, you can reach your arms forward, or you can take that block and pop it underneath your hips. I'm just working with that counterbalance today. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, straighten the left wide angle forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat back. Left heel spins it, walk it over, triangle. Pull your hips back, reach the right arm up and open. Inhale. And on the exhale, right hand comes down, all 10 toes point forward. You're gonna step that right foot forward, coming to a pyramid pose. So I want you to focus on keeping your hips square. This is a great place to grab a lock. So all ten toes point to the front. My right foot is only about two to three feet behind my left. Unlike in a lunge, okay? So that right foot is stepped forward, so all ten toes are on the ground. I'm going to keep pulling my left hip back and lengthening my spine along toward the front. Your safe arm should be nice and level so that someone can come and set a tree on your safe arm and it wouldn't fall over, okay? In here. Inhale. And on the exhale, hands come down. Right foot slides back. Left foot slides back. Right arm 
lifts up, side plank. Adding on here, deep breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down toward your left. Inhale to open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Right foot lifts. Right foot comes behind your left calf. Take your hips up for a little wild thing, foot dog. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, take it back to center. High plank. Shift forward on your tiptoes. Find the vinyasa for you. Deep breath in here. Open the mouth side out loud. Left leg lifts this time. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. So same thing. Keep that left shoulder down, looking back at the right foot. Maybe taking some hip circles. And then square it back up. Left knee to your left tricep. Shoot it back. Left knee to your right tricep. Kick it out. Roll to the inside of that right foot. Right arm reaches up and open. Inhale. Exhale, right knee comes back down. Left leg shoots back. And then step through. Adjust your feet. Reach your arms up. High press a lunge. So don't ever be afraid to move your feet around to get the right alignment, okay? Biceps up by the ears. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, open. Warrior two. You can open that left middle finger. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to lift. Exhale down. One more. Left palm turns out reverse. Deep breath in. Exhale, side angle. Left forearm comes to your thigh, right arm reaches long. Rotating those ribs up. Deep breath in. Exhale, right hand pulls you up, flying with you to the right. All right, so if you want to use that block, just pop it back so that if you start to find yourself falling, it's going to catch you. All right, so this is what it looks like with the prop. Deep inhale here. That's all let it go. And then press into the right foot, wide angle forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat back. Walk it over to the right. Right toes turn out. Find your triangle pose. Deep inhale here. And on the exhale, left hand comes down. Turn all ten toes to the front of the mat. So again, you're going to have to stretch that left foot to pull it forward. Get all ten toes and both heels on the back. Use a block here if you need. All right, keep pulling that right hip back in line with your left, and then check in as your sacrum nice and well. If you're doing this right, you should feel like that right hamstring is on fire. 
Okay, this is not an easy pose at all. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, gently release. Left leg slides back. Right foot comes to meet it, roll to the right hand. Side plank. From here, inhale. Exhale, close. Inhale to open. Exhale, close. Inhale to open. Exhale, close. Inhale, hold it out. Left foot floats. Left foot comes back. Reach the arms back. Chest presses up. Find your right leg. Inhale. Exhale, take it back your center, high plank. Vinyasa, your choice. Knee down, facing up. Looking forward, right foot steps behind the right hand, left foot steps behind the left hand. Sit those hips down and find your velocity. All right? So another thing that you'll hear a lot in my class is I want you to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay? Life is not easy, and neither is yoga. Right now I'm reading Untamed by Glennon Doyle, and um, one of my favorite concepts that she talks about in that book is that life isn't meant to be easy. If it feels like it's hard, it means you're doing it right. Life is not designed to be simple, designed to be easy. It's tough. We can do hard things, all right? Train your body to get comfortable breathing through discomfort, to learn how to deal with adversity on your map, and see if you can transfer some of that to your life outside of these, um, these little two by six mats. I'll call them three by six, whatever your real estate is. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, hands come down. So option number one, step your feet back. Option number two, hop your feet back. Option number three, if you want to come up into a crow pose here by taking your um, knees in toward your triceps, shifting the body forward, coming into crow. You can hop back to that chaturanga. Back. Ooh. Upward facing dog, y'all know this rock. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Mama still got it. It may be ugly, but try it. Give it a shot. If you're like, absolutely not, that would look terrible, don't. But if you want to arm balance transition there, go for it. Right leg reaches long. Bend the knee over the hip. Option to stay here, or maybe flip your dog, taking that right foot back, reaching the body forward. Same concept we did from the side plate. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Three leg down dog. Inhale. Exhale right knee, right tricep. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Take it out. Open up. Deep breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down, right leg shoots back. Step it through. High press at lunge, left heel stays tight. Arms reach up. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Control the breath. All right, palm turns up, reverse. Inhale, 
and I exhale side angle. Deep breath in. Exhale, left hand pulls you up, flying on through the left. Deep breath in here. Exhale, take it over. Wide angle forward fold. I almost got a little ahead of myself. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat back. Left heel spins in. Find your triangle pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down. Right heel spins. Right foot steps forward, pyramid pose. Find that flat sacrum. Pull your left hip back. Y'all are following along on the playlist. It's one of my favorite jams. Chance the rapper has a place in my heart. Unlike any other, deep breath in. Well, maybe Kanye, but deep inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Right foot slides back, left foot steps back, side plank, right arm reaches up. Inhale. Exhale, close it off. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Squeeze those obliques. Inhale, open. Right foot floats. Come back and flip it. Deep breath in. Exhale, coming back to the front. Vinyasa of your choice. Knee in downward facing dog. Deep breath in here. Open the mouth, slide out lock. Left line reaches. Bend the knee, open the hip. Maybe stay here, maybe flip your dog. Just an option. Remember at the beginning of your class, I said we give you choices. Take what you want, ditch what you don't. Deep breath in. Exhale to get back. Three legged jump dog. Left knee here, left tricep. Inhale to get back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Kick it out. Open up. Deep breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down. Left leg shifts back. Step it through. Right heel stays spiked, arms reach up, high press and lunge. Deep breath in. Axle twist. Inhale up. Axle open up, warrior two. Check in with that right foot. Inhale to straighten. Axle warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Two more. Left palm turns out first. Deep inhale. Exhale, side angle. Right arm reaches on. Deep breath in here. Exhale, right hand pulls you up. Flying on to the right. Deep inhale here. Inhale. Exhale, right hand presses you up. Wide angle forward fold. You're almost there. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat back. Walk it over to the right. Right toes turn out. 
Right hand comes to the back of your calf. Another great place to use the block. Rotate, push the hips back, then reach the left arm up. Then if this is easy, take yourself down a notch until you're all the way down. Deep in up here. Exhale, left hand comes down. Left heel slight, step that left foot forward. All ten toes on the mat. Find your pyramid pose. Nice long spine. Pull it right and back behind with your left. Try to balance something on your sacrum. And breathe. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, hands come down. Left foot starts to slide back. Right foot steps to meet it. Side plank. Inhale here. Exhale, close it off. Inhale to open. Exhale, close. One more. Close it off. Inhale, open. Float the left foot. Take it back. Flip it. Inhale. Exhale, take it back to the front. Vinyasa of your choice or skip it. Find your down block. One more time if you want it. Look forward, right foot steps behind the right hand. Left foot steps behind the left hand. Sit down in the last step. So if you are working on throw, this is a great way to get into it. Take your block, and I want you to come up on your block. All right, like it's a little perch. I know it's super cheesy, but no one can hear. Hands come down. Imagine your hands are like a little starfish, gripping the mat, okay? They're not going to move. All arm balances are chatted on the arms. So I need to get my shins up by my triceps, okay? So I gotta drop it low, attach my shins to my triceps, shift forward, play around with one foot off at a time until you get comfortable taking both feet off. From here, maybe when I step down, maybe when I shift back to that chaturanga, upward facing dog, lift your hips, down dog. All right. Alicia. Take your right leg long than I do. Open it up. And then take it through. Let's send a pigeon on the right. So right knee comes behind my right wrist. Right foot stays flexed the whole time. Left knee comes down. So I start to wiggle that foot back. I'm still flexing my right foot. It's going to protect my knee. Maybe coming down the forearms. Maybe coming all the way down. Finding what's right for your body today. Guys, I don't even have any ears on, and I am toasty. I cannot wait to have everybody back in the studio. We get to see everybody again. Just doing this class today has brought me so much joy. Being in this space, I cannot describe it to you except all the feels, you guys. Deep breath in. And exhale, let go. One more add on. Just if you want it, just if you want it. Starting to walk your hands up. Maybe bending the knee, reaching the left hand back for the foot. Whatever variation you would like. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, gently release it. From here, start to wiggle forward so you can lift that left knee up. Shoot the right leg back. Open it up. And set it down. Switching sides. Left leg lifts up. Open the hip. 
and then bring it forward. So notice I already have that foot flex before I even take anything down. Starting to wiggle down. Wiggling my right foot back. Keeping my foot flex, maybe working down. Coming down with the arms. Breathe into your head. I'm always amazed how fast an hour flies by when I'm teaching. Being in quarantine, I feel like the hours have dragged on. But getting your body moving, that moving meditation, boom, next thing you know, it's been an hour. You guys are fresh today. Deep inhale. That's all I go. Maybe staying here, or maybe starting to work up, bending that right knee, reaching back with the right hand for that pose. Deep breath in, and on the exhale, gently release the foot. Wiggle that right foot forward so you can lift the knee. Then shoot that left leg back, open it up, setting it down, drop to your knees, inhale, you drop the belly away from the spine, and salt press up and away. Do that again, inhale, drop the belly away from the exhale, round the knees. And then take any other organic movements that feel right to you. Just loosening out through the hips, through the spine. I love the barrel roll, my cat pounds. It feels really good. And then whenever you're ready, making your way onto your back. Knees up into your chest. Drawing those circles over to the left. And then take it to the right. And then keeping your knees together, drop both knees over to the right. As you look over your left shoulder. Breathe in here. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring it back up. Switching sides. Dropping the knees over to the left. Looking over that right shoulder. Deep breath in. That's what we get back to center. Reaching in between the feet. Full happy baby this time. Elbows pressing the shins. Lengthening your tail up long. Pulling the feet down from your underarms. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, gently release, taking your legs all the way out in front of you. Find whatever Tavasana is right for you today. So maybe it's legs extended, maybe you want to bring the bottoms of the feet together, maybe legs up the wall. I'll bring you out of the Shavasana in just a few minutes. But right now, I want you to focus on letting your body become completely still and totally relaxed.
yourself up whenever you're ready. Finding that comfortable seated position. Sitting up tall. Inhale your arms up. And slowly your hands down to your heart. Moving with two cleansing breaths in through the nose. Open your mouth side all out. More like that deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it all go. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. I can't wait to see you all in the studio. Namaste.